today's little vlog is going to take us to a place that Margie and I both know why we're growing up. Called Spooky Hollow. The Willigers. <laughs> It's gonna be dark. So, uh, Spooky Hollow, you think it'll be dark when we get there? Yeah. Spooky Hollow was just this place that uh, all of us knew of when we were kids, and uh, it's out in. BFE. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said it that way. No, that, that's fine to say it that way. But uh, it's a place that we would drive through when we were kids that was kind of scary. Uh, it's all wooded around the road that you go down through and there's some scary stuff out there. On the way out here, Margie's going to sing us a tune as she drives. The heck? <laughs> sing us just one little tune. Only the lonely. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> so we are headed outside Union City going down 28. Oh, maybe I should have just I think state line probably would have been closer, but I think we can get there from going this way. It's just a point. But yes, I don't know. How did we learn about this place, Marge? I've known about it since I was a kid. So I've known it since I was about a kid too. And what's funny is we both grew up in different towns. this place they talk about that uh, has to do with sat satanicism, what do you call it? Sat satanism. Satanism it's and stuff like that, but it's all just a myth and probably just somebody seen this as a place to dump something because they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. So, but... I'm sorry it's so bouncy. I hate this road. Well, that, we're on our back road, so that's the way it's going to be. No, it gets smooth up here. Town we're going through now, not really big of a town, but this is New Lisbon, and uh, this was the town that was here before Union City. And then when Union City was built, it pulled from this, and now it's just nothing but a, a small group of houses through here. All right, we are going into Spooky Hollow, it is a gravel road. We still have those in Indiana. I don't like gravel roads. We are actually in the county Margie grew up in, which is just one county over from where I live, grew up. So we have not got to the spooky part yet, but this is called Spooky Hollow Road. And you can already see the fear on Margie's face. <laughs> See the crazy guy lives out here. Yes, that guy will come come out with a shotgun if you go up his driveway. The girl I know who delivers his mail says you do not go up the driveway. It might he might not live there anymore. Uh, she well this was just not too long ago she told me this. Really? Yeah. I'll go up in this driveway. No, you will not. You're like, help me, I've, got, I've gotten lost. So I don't know who these people are. Here we go. Alright, if you can see, this is why it's called Spooky Hollow. Especially come out here at night. At night, it's, I don't know. Yeah, this is, it's really eerie at night. I'm sure these people are just normal people. <laughs> Drive. There's a big drop off up here somewhere. Yeah, 
if you drive down through here at night, you don't turn off on these little places. You'll get lost. Well, that's his driveway. Yeah, that's his driveway there. It didn't used to be. Maybe it was. Well, looks like they're cutting the trees down though. Look at that. Yeah, or they're falling down. They could be falling down. That one literally fell down. Yeah. It is kind of like... I can hear frogs. I know, but it's an... Oh, it's so relaxing, that, that sound. There is a place out here called the White Cross. So... Posted... I don't remember seeing that before. But wherever that is, we went back to it one night and we were chased out by someone or something. I would say someone. I'll tell you what, you never seen five guys jumped into a two-door car so fast that night. It's even better when it's all, like, leafy and... Especially if you get, like, a really bright moon mm -hmm. when you're driving through here, too. If it's better when the leaves are on the trees. Oh, right here's the big thing I was talking about. Yeah, this, down in this area... This is where they threw all those animals at. They decapitated them and left their carcasses down Horrible. here. I don't, that's the reason I hate this, like, right there. Yeah. I hate that going the other way. So, yeah, this place is just eerie when you drive down through it. I don't know. Margie and I have been through here I don't know how many times. Margie and I have drove through here by ourselves together at night and... I think we brought the girls through here before just to scare them. So, it just has an eerie feeling to it all the way through. And like Margie said, even when there's more leaves around, it's evil. It's like... It's almost like even during the day, it's almost kind of darkened out because of the leaves. Yeah, it's just so dark. You can't see nothing, really. Whatever your headlights in. And we are coming out of it. Yep. So up here at the stop sign, this is... I think this is Treaty 1. No, it's 600. 600. Okay. So we'll just turn back and go catch State Line. Yeah. Unless you want me to turn around and go back through. No, that's all right. So that was Spooky Hollow. Yeah, and there's the five. The five, yeah. Yeah. The ones are dry, I yeah. think. Yeah, it comes from State Line is when you see it. You see that. So I probably would have... Well, it's no quicker coming from State Line to... 800. Right, right. 800 takes you right to it, basically. Right. So that, yeah, it's just basically a place that we grew up that had, like, a scary myth to it. And it was just weird. But then some weird stuff went on <laughs> back here, of course, with the, with the animal carcasses, missing heads, and stuff like that. It's just kind of the weird stuff you get. You think that people who are doing stuff, they... They take it back there just thinking that people will think it's something that it's not. But, I don't know. It's just real eerie, no matter how you look at it. So, I don't know where else we're going to go. We just came out for a drive, and I said, hey, let's go through Spooky Hollow. Turkey farm. So, yeah, Turkey Farm. Straight. Yeah, I guess. So, what else, what else we got to do before we go home? Margie does not know what else we got to do. I thought you said we had to go to Pakistan. Oh, yeah, I want to go to Pakistan. So, I guess we're going to Pakistan. And it's really bumpy out here. But right now, we are riding down state line. So, the side we're on is the Indiana side, and then across the... There, Margie. Margie. Well, Margie's... Okay. Now we're in Ohio. She's driving on the wrong side. Oh, now we're back to so, Indiana. But I'll show you... It's going to go all the way in through town, but state line, it doesn't go all the way up the road. It actually ends at a point, but the state line still continues on, even though it goes way out. Yeah, but even though the road doesn't go all the way. And even if you go down this, it tees off at the one end. So It goes all the way to Greenville Pines? Yeah. Greenville's where we went last night when we went to uh, Marshall's and Walmart. So we didn't tape any of Mar Walmart, but we recorded in Marshall's a little bit. So we're just casually cruising.
cruising down state line right now, heading back to Union City. And when we get there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, we're coming back into town. We're a little ways out yet, but we're coming up on it. So, the state line runs right down through Union City. Not through the middle. More of the city is on the Indiana side. So there are actually two, two different cities. You have Union City, Indiana, and then you have the village of Union City, Ohio. And that's our water tower right up there. It used to have a great big smiley face on it. Yes, it did. It used to have a great big smiley face on it. So we're coming back into town. So the people who live on this side are in Indiana, and the people who live in this side are in Ohio. And this week, I'm running Ohio Mail, but because I'm running Ohio Mail, I have to run both sides of the street. So I have a little bit of Indiana in my mail, but every, well, the rest of it's all for the Ohio side. So It's just a regular street nothing different about it just the difference is is the people on the right live in indiana and the people on the left live in ohio but the only thing different is when, when time would change yeah it used to and th i think they said they're going to start doing that again didn't they i read something about that i don't know i think they said that indiana is not going to change time anymore just leave it alone yeah so so frustrating they, we've done that before where we did not change time and then once one side of the city's on one time and we're on another time it's kind of just, I mean if you needed something in a hurry and you thought okay well you know they're an hour ahead of us and you're not thinking about it yeah especially when your kids are little and you run out of something yeah. and you're like holy crap the store's closed but what was great is uh like for television because we get stations from Dayton. Uh, here's where I work at the post office. That used to be the Coca-Cola bottling company a long time ago. And then you go down this state line. Restaurant. Yeah. It's called Two Broke Girls restaurant right there. And then we have Pizza King. What? You've never had Pizza King pizza. You do not know what you're missing. But you can only find Pizza King pizza in Indiana. So, Their breadsticks are phenomenal. But we are headed over to Pakasak. That here is 402 a gallon. What did we get, Margie? You we got a cherry pie. We got a, I got a cherry pie. Powerball ticket. A Powerball ticket. And an Elvis scratch off. And an Elvis scratch off. <coughs> I don't know if they have those there where you're at, Mar. We have Elvis scratch offs. Margie is scratching hers off right uh -oh, now. We want something. All right, so our drive's over. We are done at Packensack. We went through P Spooky Hollow. What else did we do, Margie? That was it. That was it. That was it. So I know these are. Uh, well, I am going to start walking the dogs. Yes, we'll start walking the dogs. But we probably we won't record that every time. But. We need to get Winter Franklin a new harness. I don't know why you need to know that. What? Why they need to know if we need to get Franklin uh, a new uh, harness. But that is going to do it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Just a little run around. Ran out to Spooky Hollow, ran up to Packasap, got our fruit pie, some scratch off tickets, and a lottery ticket for Powerball. So I hope to see you tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye. Say bye, Margie. Bye.